Karen from ediblewildfood.com here, and I'm standing in front of the elderberries. Now, I've already done a video about elderberries, and I'll put a link to that below. But this video is about, you've gathered your elderberries, that's great. But now what? What are you gonna do with these? There's so many of them. This year has truly been a bumper crop for a lot of different berries. And this one is no exception. And I'm gonna go back here to show you. Look at these, now these aren't ready yet. I'll have to come back in a couple of nights. They're not ripe, but they're so heavy. They're bringing down the bush. There's just tons and tons of them here. Anyways, and look how big that umble, a massive umble, several actually, of the elderberries. But I'm gonna go back, pick, a, pick the ripe ones, and when I'm done, I'm gonna bring you home and show you what's next. And now I have the process of removing all these berries from the stems. And it actually is a pretty quick process, all things considered. They come off very easily. And when I have accomplished that, I'll be back. In total, I ended up with eight cups of elderberries. And it took probably 20, 25 minutes to destem them and to try to remove all the green ones. Trust me, it's not easy. And in fact, in here, you will see that I still have some uh, very tiny stems in there. And, but quite frankly, I don't think it matters. Um, yeah, there's another little green one there. I gotta get out of there. Anyway, this tray will go into the freezer and the two cups here are slated to be made into juice and the three quarter cup I'm going to transform into macaroons, the one cup into muffins and the four cups I'm going to make a pie. Now with the juice I plan on making my elderberry meringue pie which is really tasty. But anyways, eight cups, it wasn't bad of a haul at all. And um, yeah, so let's see how these turn out. And later on this week, when those other berries are ripen, you know what I'll be doing. And here are 10 really cool ways to work with your elderberries in the kitchen. Elderberry pie. This pie has a great texture because it's just loaded with elderberries. It has some aronia berries that if you don't have aronias, you can certainly swap out the aronias for blueberries. But either way, this is an incredible pie and if you have enough elderberries, be sure to give it a try. Vegan elderberry muffins. These muffins are so light. They're incredibly fluffy and they are totally mouthwatering in terms of taste. Definitely a must try. Elderberry juice. Elderberry juice can be consumed as is or it can be used in a variety of ways in several recipes. And the best way to use this juice is with the elderberry meringue pie. You're gonna see that one shortly. Elderberry aronia macaroons. These are definitely a very sweet treat because they have dates in those. They are sugar-free in terms of added sugar. And again, if you don't have any aronias, you can certainly swap it out with blueberries. 
elderberries come along at the same time as peaches, so why not put the power of the two fruits together and make a jam? Elderberry raisin loaf. This makes a really tasty snack that packs the goodness of both the elderberries and raisins. Elderberry meringue pie. This is by far a mouth-watering, tasty pie that if you've got elderberries, get in the kitchen and try to create this one. This recipe is one of my favorites. These elderberry freezies are packed with goodness. So whether it be a hot summer day or in the wintertime, if you're not feeling well and perhaps have a sore throat, these just might be something that helps you to feel a little bit better. Elderberry cough and cold syrup. Now this is something that you would wanna make only if you have a cough or cold, but sometimes when that happens, you don't feel that great. So if you make it ahead of time, and put it into ice cubes and freeze it that way. You'll have it on hand should the need arise. And last but not least, this is my elderberry immune tonic. Although technically it's not just elderberries, it is chock full of so many different herbs and it is a very, very healthy tincture to have on a daily basis to help support your immune system. And on that note, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have watched this video. I really am grateful to all of you for being here. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're a subscriber, thank you. And if you're new to my channel, if you can do me the kindness and consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to share it in your social media. Thank you.